Dr. Friedrich Schneider here. Welcome to another episode of Vishpa. For years, the females have claimed that they are far superior at handling the common illness than the males. They call the male's response to illness the man cold. The males have denied this claim vigorously, so we decided to put this debate to slumber via an experiment. We placed a group of male and female volunteers into separate observation rooms, then we asked them to construct a 100-piece puzzle. We then secretly release the flu virus into the observation room. The females responded by pulling out cold medicine, and actually, they increased their speed of puzzle construction. The males, however, became much more lethargic. <laughs> After five minutes, one of the males had collapsed completely. Two of the males began to wander the room aimlessly, much like unto a zombie, but they were a little more brain dead. <laughs> the final male unsuccessfully sought sympathy from the female table. You're a grown man. It's just a cold. Hey, you can take care of yourself. How's the puzzle coming? Really well, actually. Good! Good. Why do males respond so dramatically to the common cold? Scientists have recently discovered the Wuss gene. It is located on the Y chromosome of all males. <laughs> and it is fueled by testosterone and an overactive imagination. The Wuss gene was especially evident in this male, who located the hidden camera and began to say his final goodbyes to his children. Daddy's not coming home tonight. This would not have been quite as pathetic if the man had actually had children. You gotta be strong! Daddy doesn't know what's gonna happen. In the end, we concluded that the man cold was indeed a real phenomenon. Join us next time as we compare the male courtship patterns to that of bighorn sheep. Sayonara. <laughs>